We are almost ready to try how the password reset web service endpoint works, but before we do it, we will have to make this web service endpoint public. In this project, we have configured Sprint Security and made all of our web service endpoints protected. And to access those protected web service endpoints, user will need to first authenticate with our project to perform login, but they cannot do it because they do not remember their password. So the password reset web service endpoint needs to be public. And we will do that now. So I will go to a security package and I will open web security class. And here we configured sign up URL, verification email and password reset request URL as public. So let's add one more and I will copy this too and paste below. And this is going to be HTTP post request. So I will leave this unchanged, but the password reset request URL I'm going to change. So I'm going to add a new class field here and we'll remove request. So that will actually be password reset URL and remove this part. So it's going to be password reset. Let's save this and just double check in our REST controller that the web service endpoint is also mapped to password reset. So all is good. Let's now go to web security save this oh no we have to change the url password reset we have to remove the request and now we can click and open it yeah that works okay so we have updated web security and now the password reset url should be public and we should be able to send http post request to it 